episode 9 repainting a boot stripe. A boot stripe is that fancy stripe that runs around your boat just at the water line. Before we go any further, this video is about repainting, not painting a boot stripe. If you want to add a boot stripe to your boat, you'll need more expertise than I have and I suspect your boat will have to be in the water. To repaint the boot stripe, your boat will have to be out of the water because boot stripes are just above the waterline and they tend to get dirty. Kind of like bathtub ring around your tub. Mine is white, so ever so often I just can't clean it anymore and I have to paint it. My favorite boat paint is made by Interlux. It sets up wonderfully even at low temperatures and comes with a see yourself high gloss shine even if you brush it on. Start by cleaning the hull and preparing the surface as recommended by the manufacturer. In this case, because some of the previous paint was power washed off, I'm starting with a good sanding with 100 grit to make sure uh, to avoid the gel coat. Mask it if you have to. If you sand, make sure you remove the dead paint and grit with a tack cloth or spirits before painting. Now my boot stripe sits between the gel coated hull and the antifoul. I used to double tape each time I painted until I realized that I would have to tape the bottom again anyway when I did the antifoul. So to save time this year, I'm just taping the top line. I use the good tape that gives you a good clean line, but I've had trouble getting consistency. Sometimes I'll get a run anyway. A painter friend of mine told me the secret. Use a putty knife or scraper to smooth the edge before you start painting. I put one coat of paint on and then sanded this time with 200 grit. It's important that each time you sand to remove the residue. That's the difference between an okay job and a good job. Also, if you are not creating a tooth for the paint to hang on to, it'll just blow off when it's power washed. Right after the second coat, I removed the tape. Those fancy masking tapes work great, but if you leave them on too long, they'll dry out and start to stick to the hull. There we are. The hull is buffed, the boot stripe has two coats, and now we just need to get that anti fall on and dry before launch. I hope you enjoyed this episode of this old fiberglass boat. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave me a note below or email me at alanstokel at grampianmarine at gmail.com.